All right, so Sam Dastyari thrown in the middle of this debate today. The former Labor senator joins me now. Thanks very much for your time. So you said today her statement is shocking. She should be held to the same standard that I was. I resigned. Why do you think Gladys Liu should resign? Well, well, let's be clear. I don't know enough about her situation to say whether or not she should resign. That's a matter for her and that's a matter for Scott Morrison. But let me be perfectly clear here, right? Um, the Prime Minister himself set a test when it came to me. I failed that test. I rightly should have resigned from Parliament and I did resign from Parliament. But this idea that she'd been member of these organisations for perhaps up to over 10 years and pretended and lied that she wasn't a member of them. I mean, David, it just doesn't pass the believability test. Do we know, though, that these uh, honorary positions with these organisations, whether she knew or didn't know she was a member of them and, you know, she's cast a bit of doubt there, does that mean that she's done something wrong? Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, David... You saw that train wreck of an interview last night, right? I mean, frankly, mm. how do you deduce that she didn't lie throughout that interview? How do you deduce that there isn't more to this story? And frankly, here's what I believe and what people are telling me. My phone has been running hot all day. People are calling me with allegations and stories. I suspect a lot of them are going to start to be run in newspapers over coming days. Um, let's see whether or not she is held to the same test that people are like I were. And, David, here's the reality. Does anyone honestly believe that if she wasn't a member of the Liberal Party, the Prime Minister and others wouldn't be calling for her scalp right now? The fact that she's a member well, of the Liberal Party yeah. and a member of the government is the only reason that she's surviving right now. Look, uh, you know, I, I'm certainly not going to defend uh, her inability to explain her membership uh, and her dodgy memory about her membership of these organisations last night, and she was able to clarify all that in a statement today. But do you agree this is in a different league, as I think the Prime Minister put it, to your, uh, your own experiences here? You, you, to remind people, asked a donor with links to the Chinese government to pay a travel bill. Another Chinese company paid a legal bill for you. Then, of course, you stood up and echoed the... Chinese line on the South China Sea, uh, and apparently, reportedly, advised um, uh, Huang Zhengmo about counter-surveillance measures. That is a, that is a rubbish, different scale. Rubbish, rubbish. David, 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 let's, let's cut through the rubbish here, right? This is someone who has raised maybe three to four million dollars for the Liberal Party from the Melbourne Chinese community, mm -hmm. who had, according to the Herald Sun, have to return $300,000 of donations that they felt was so dodgy. Really. OK, I'm not defending my own actions. I resigned from Parliament. I took responsibility. I did what most politicians that come on your show never do and say, you know what, I am in the wrong here. I've done wrong. I need to That's resign. True. That is the best thing for my party and my life. Nobody does that, right? And, and don't get me wrong, I am not here to defend my own actions, right? I have had a lot... David, you haven't had me on for the past but couple of years. But I'm just asking... Years. I've I'm just asking whether there really is equivalence here. Is, is there of equivalence there here is. with Gladys Lou? She has raised... David, she has raised millions for the Liberal Party. She has lied about being members of these organisations. And, frankly, let's not pussyfoot around this. There is a lot more that is about to come out about Gladys Lou, And the Prime Minister is defending her for one reason and one reason alone. She happens to be a member of the Liberal Party. Oh, well, we'll see if more does come out, but on what we know right now, it's not an offence to raise money for a party, but what you're saying is that this donation that was returned, she denies it, but you're saying that's the hanging offence? Well, well, look, look no, I think the hanging offence is... I mean, you saw the interview. She lied on Sky... I mean, I, I love how, David, your defence is that lying on Sky I'm News isn't an offence in itself. I, I, I believe problem. it is. I agree. I, I agree. believe it is. It's a bad, bad look for her. All right, but you, you think the interview I mean, alone frankly, uh, justifies on your show should her, be enough. her dismissal? No, 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 no. Look, look, <laughs> right. look let's look There is a pattern of behaviour. It's coming out. The Prime Minister has set a standard. Frankly, I believe I made the right call. Mm. It was the right decision for me, for my family, for the Parliament, for the party, for me to resign from Parliament. That was a difficult choice. It was the right call to make. 
And frankly, let's see whether or not she meets that same standard. And the Prime Minister isn't holding her to that standard simply because she's a member of the Liberal Party. Let me just quickly ask you, uh, you appeared before the ICAC hearing, of course, a couple of weeks ago. You advised Kayla Monane yes. uh, to seek advice back in 2016 about this allegedly unlawful yes, donation from Huang Zhang Mo. Did you follow up at yep. all after that as to what advice she was given? No, no, I didn't. And let's be very clear. I want to be quite careful because I gave evidence and I don't want to speculate on the evidence that I gave. But I felt that I always gave Carol the right advice. And my advice, as my evidence at that point, when I was told very broadly, and it wasn't specific, was that there was some improper activity, my view was action needs to be taken and she needed to go see the lawyers. And frankly, as far as I understand, that's what's happened. Wouldn't the right advice have been you should properly declare this donation? No, because you declare donations through your lawyers. The Electoral Commission and Electoral no. Matters are dealt with through your lawyers. Look, the Electoral Commission isn't the police. You don't just have an office you rock up to. You contact them mm. through your lawyers. That is how you always contact the Electoral Commission. Final one. Um, did you get in any trouble for that bike? Uh, I heard the, there might have been a ticket or an offence or something for riding the bike on the footpath. I know, no, no, you love this, right? I, I am probably the only person in Sydney to have got a caution from six separate police officers for riding my bike on a footpath. David, it only ever happens to me. Only ever happens to you. Sam Dastiari, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me, David. Thank you.